Hello, crafty friends. Welcome to Heather and Yon Studio. DJ here. And if you've been here before, welcome back. I'm um, working in the Woodland Journals. And um, hold on. That one has one. I, I need to make one of these. I have it in my, this is the one, the main one that I'm using as my prototype. And so this one ha does, needs one. And so this is what we're making today. So this is, it's like a flip out. So there's some journaling space here and I'll do some more decorating on there. There's this spot here, which is just, you could put some pictures. Um, and then this is a pocket that has a see-through window and you can put stuff in there. So that's what we're making today. And I thought I'd take you along because I need to make, I need to make a bunch. Let's see, two, I, this one, yes. Um, I'm just gonna make one today on camera. I'll make the rest off camera. And then you can see how it's done. I just have to figure out what I wanna use. Um, okay, this, I'm gonna use another one of these wildflower ones because they're printed on both sides. Um, oh, that's pretty, isn't it? Yes. <laughs> Admiring my own work. Anyway, these are in the shop. If you want to get them, um, there, it's like a collaged mixed media page on the background. And then these kind of translucent, pretty watercolor wildflowers, um, over top and other kind of nature pieces. So I think I'll use this one. I like the butterfly, but I think he's going to be off center. And so we don't need these. Um, this is pretty straightforward. I am going to use some packaging material that I have. Um, I just save this whenever I get it. And it's kind of thin, but for the purposes here, it'll be fine. But you can use um, transparency paper, you know, the, the printer papers or the stuff that you put slides on. Um, or what else? There's other transparent paper. Anyway, anything that's transparent. Um, okay. So I did not cut a head cause I wasn't sure which paper I was going to use. Uh, and I was printing off some more forest woodland themed stuff. So I'm just going to cut these edges off. I hope everybody's doing good today. Hello. Hello. Where are you watching from? Drop me a comment. Say hello. Say hello. I know some people just lurk. They just hang out and don't comment. But if you if you have a moment and you would like to say hello, I would be grateful and to know where you're from. Um, I am in New York myself, and it was a balmy 80 plus degrees today, and we're just getting some thunderstorms now. I'm not sure when you're seeing this, but um yeah and it's it's crazy because it was like 65 or something and then it went up to 80 and now it's gonna go back down <laughs> so ah spring um that's the weather here how's the weather by you the middle of the country is getting hammered again it's crazy you guys just get so much crazy weather i hope everybody's okay i know there's a lot of damage oh goodness sending prayers for that so much damage um but anyway yeah, a lot of bad weather out there. Okay, so this is what we're doing. Um, I'm going to make this easy, like I did with this one. And I just kind of folded it over itself. And then this outside is this backside. That's what I cut out. So, no measuring. I'm um, just going to fold it over, like so. And... I'm going to do this and then I'm going to come in and just make some lines that are about a half an inch in width around and then um, cut out. Uh, yeah, so let me see where the top of this has to be. I'm just going to mark that. That is the top of this, but then I need a flap because it's actually tucked under this piece. You can kind of see there that I tucked it under. And so that's where that is and let's see 
Can I get this on a line and make a straight line? What do you think? Can I draw a straight line? I don't know. All right, so this is my top. Um, or kind of. I'm trying to line it up on the mat, but I'm not directly overhead, so it's a little hard to see. All right, and then this is my one half inch mark. So I'll just start with this one since I'm here. And then I have to do one this way. So get it on the line there. Probably be better with my bigger mat. I could actually see the half inch marks, but let's see, it's right about here. Uh, going with, that's the half inch. Actually, let me mark it, hold on. So it's just the way I roll, and then I miss it, and that's not good. Here, I'll use this again in the next round. Just so I don't have to put my head in the camera. Okay. Come on. I know I should flip my ruler over, but it's all good. I'm not cutting. I'm just drawing lines. Pretty little lines and my knuckle, apparently. Okay, so that's that. And then this one <coughs> here. So you gotta get the gist. I need, I, need, I need to figure out where my windows go in. So that's what I'm marking out. And I just kind of made this design up. I made the first one. That's kind of my prototype journal there. It's not really a prototype. It's actually going to be one of the ones that are going in the shop. But it's where I did a lot of the design work in it, you know. So I want them all to kind of look the same. So I'm kind of using that as my prototype. And uh, one more down here. Uh, let's go this way. Maybe I'll stay in camera. Like so. I went and cut some bangs into my hair today. It was all one length. And uh, I haven't done that in a really long time. And uh, it took longer than I thought, but they came out good. They came out cute. Not that you can see them, but I was pleased with the results. So that was that was my adventure today, cutting bangs. But now, you know, if you didn't have bangs and you have bangs, now you got to get used to bangs in your face. I don't like them super short, so I kind of have to deal with them in my view and get used to them being there. Okay, so this is where I'm cutting. Um, I'm going to cut out this center bit here. So... Going from line to line. Well, it wasn't very straight, was it? Close enough. Close enough. I mean, it's straight. It's just on the wrong side of the line. Um, okay, and you. Yeah, so then my daughter saw them and she's like, oh, your bangs look so cute. And I was like, thanks, because she's young and that's a compliment. <laughs> Thank you. I cut my bangs cute. Um, and she said that they were shaggy and she can't get her shaggy. I kind of have been cutting my own hair for, I mean, I go every once in a while and have somebody cut it, especially if when I get it cut really short. Um, but now it's long and... I cut my own hair all through the 80s and 90s, um, so I'm used to it, but you know, you know your own hair, so if you're one of those people that cut your own hair, you kind of know what, what you're doing, but I would never think to do it on somebody else uh -uh, on a way, especially a 20-something, you know, <laughs> they're way more... Uh, worried about what people think than I am. Okay, so now I have these lines that I have to get rid of. Um, oh, right. Got a new one. So, actually, I want to keep that for a sec. Um, so this is my window. And I'm just going to 
cut out a piece of, you know what, I'm going to cut it to fit the space first. Get that all done. Get that all done and over with. All right, perfect. Um, okay, so let's see. I need it to... I just need a little bit of a lip and then we're going to have to cut some more off. So let me draw that line. Be mm, like that. And then I'm going to fold it there and then this will stick in. I can always shorten it if I need to. Okay, and then I just, let's see, what am I thinking? Oh no, this is, this is going to get cut off and then just the back. Okay, never mind. Hold on, I got to redo that. Um, okay, so I'm going to, wait, now I have to look, hold on. <laughs> hey! Um, oh yeah, it is the top one. Okay. All right, so this is the one that gets the lip. This one gets cut off um, on the back. So let me line this up and draw that line. It'll make sense in a second. Sorry, and I hope I'm in frame. There we go. All right, I just need to take this across. Okay, and that is the line I'm going to cut this way, right? Yes. Okay, so here is my center line where it folds. Open the knife. Okay, and I'm just going to cut from there across. Okay, like that, and that gives me the back. See how pretty? It's so pretty. And then this piece can come off entirely. And this piece is where I'm going to fold it under. Make sense? So otherwise, why am I here? All right, and then this is going to be my fold over, and I can clip this a little. Where did my scissors go? Here they are. I can clip it. And just leaving a tiny little bit there. Okay, and let me... Now I can get rid of all the pencil marks, all of them now. Perfect. Nobody's gonna see that anyway. I'm not worried about that. Okay. All right, and I wanna ink. So let me go ahead and ink this before I put that cellophane center down. All right, so we are inked up, and now I'm gonna cut this cellophane. If you are averse to the sound of crinkling paper, you might wanna skip ahead. I'm just going, and the light will probably reflect, but anyway, I'm just gonna cut out a piece that um, will suit me, and Let's see, there's like a hole in here somewhere, like a little air hole they put in the manufacturing process. So I don't want that. Okay, and now let me just cut off. Actually, I could probably go this way. Yes, I can. I'll do...
probably like, what are you even cutting? I don't see anything. Um, and now I need it to go. Actually, let me cut. I got two pieces here. So, you know, cause it's a bag and I want to keep the other one. So, I'll, I might not cut these both the same. So let me just, can I open this? Yes. Okay. That's what I wanted. All right, and I need to measure how big do I need it. All right. Um, let's go with there. All right. All right, I'm going to go a little bigger because... I'm gonna make sure I get it the right size. And this big piece is a little hard to handle. So let's see. This is gonna fit in here. Come on. All right, I'm just gonna take a hair off of that. But let me get this down to the right height, which is right about there. Yep, yeah, right about there. That's my measuring process. I put a little nail mark in it. <laughs> and then that's the measurement. So we're good this way, I think. Yes. Okay, good. Now I just need a smidge off the end. Let me go this way since that's Boeing. Not the airline. <laughs> By the way, this stuff can be a real pain in the neck for cutting <laughs> at times. All right, so now I just want to fit it in here. Like so, we'll put a dab of glue around. Uh, let me, which one do I want? I'm gonna use, no, I'm gonna use the regular glue. And I'm just gonna go real, I don't wanna go too close because the glue has a tendency to squirt and, and spill. And then it gets on the film and that's no fun. So I'm going to go a little bit away from the edge and I'm going to go with a very light bead so I can limit the amount that it kind of squirts out. Hopefully. Wish me luck. All right, and then we'll just line this up. I can always trim it if I need to. And I want to push the glue away so that it doesn't go under that film. I mean, I can wipe it off, but it's kind of a pain in the neck. And then I want to tighten it a little here, this way. Perfect. Okay, and then now that that's there, I just want to close it up, but I'm going to leave the side open. So I just need glue here. And here. Like so. I do have to trim some of that. I see some of it sticking out down here. Move this down more. Okay, and so that's our pocket. Now we just got to get it in the book. 
So I am gonna need a piece of paper for this. I saw that deer, I think that would be pretty. Uh, let's see, where do I wanna put you? Let me just, let me just make my marks now. Your head gonna be in there? Yeah, okay, so I'm gonna cut it here and uh, maybe here. Okay, and then I'll cut those white pieces off. These are the never-ending journals. <laughs> when you make a bunch at a time, it just seems like it takes forever, but it's a labor of love. I love it. All right, so the bottom is going to stay as close to the bottom because there's where those hooves are. Hooves. And then the top. Working with a two-pencil system now, it seems. Uh, actually, just the white. If I just cut off the white, we'll be good. Yay! All right, so that's that. And then I do have to ink it. I'll just do that quick. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna cut this part out. It's not that long. A little bit this is ground espresso because there's a lot of really dark spots on this paper and the vintage photo doesn't always show up and the walnut stain just seems to blend sometimes so all right so that's that hey yes <laughs> make sure you're going the right way all right so this is going to go here and then this is gonna go under it, like so. Like so, ta-da! All right, so let me glue this down. Make sure it's straight, it is perfect. And then I can glue this whole piece down. And I definitely want this to kind of be, I don't want to turn it into a pocket or anything because I don't want any chance of this here lifting, lifting out. Let me just do a little more on the edge there. Perfect. And then we'll just line it up. Like so. Don't go anywhere. Really want to make sure this part is down good. I don't want that lifting at all. All right. The glue will dry clear, so I'm not that worried about it, but the less I have squeezing out, the less cleanup. <laughs> Apparently I got heavy with the glue down here. All right, and there is our beautiful deer. These papers are from um, Compass and Ink. So I always put that in the description box. These are not my papers. These are my papers and those are in my shop if you're interested. Okay, so that one is done, and that's it. That's our make today. Um, I still have a lot to do on these. I'm going to make two more for these, and then I have to fill in some other stuff, so there'll be some more videos, but I figured I'd share that with you in case you wanted to make something similar, and don't throw away that packaging. This is good stuff, and 
as you can see, I mean, it's going to work fine for me to have a little pocket there. And um, I'll probably put like a little tab on here or something on all of them, but I'll do that at the end once I have them all in place. Um, yeah. So anyway, thanks for spending some time with me today. And I will see you guys in the next video. I hope have a great rest of your day or night. Bye.